Now that we've looked at the definition and some examples, I want to do a really classic result which says that we have uh, an irreducible polynomial over a field if and only if uh, k of x mod the principal ideal generated by p of x is a field. So, um, good. Now, I want to recall the following fact, which I have another video for, which we're going to use, and that is an ideal M is maximal if and only if R mod M is a field. And then I'll let you guys look up the definition of a maximal ideal, but we will use it along this proof. Okay, good. So, now uh, let's go ahead and do this forward direction. So in other words, we want to suppose that P of X is an irreducible polynomial. So suppose P of X in K adjoin X is irreducible. Great. And we want to consider an ideal between the one generated by P of X and the whole field. So let's uh, consider an ideal um, I of this polynomial ring K adjoin X where this thing is between uh, our principal ideal generated by the polynomial and the field. Great. And then recall that in order to show this is maximal, we need to show that it is either um, this principal ideal or it's the whole um, ring. And we'll actually show that it's the whole ring, but we'll get there. So let's go ahead and also suppose that it's not equal to this principal ideal generated by um, the polynomial, which means our goal is to show that I is actually equal to this whole polynomial ring K adjoin X. Okay. Now, if... Um, this principal ideal is not equal to our ideal i. That means there's a polynomial in i that's not inside of p of x. So let's go ahead and take that polynomial. So let's take this polynomial f of x, which is inside i, but it is not inside the ideal generated by p of x. On our way to this, I want to notice this like thing that's pretty obvious by this inclusion, um, and we're going to use this. P of X itself is inside of I. Okay, now since P of X is irreducible and um, F of X is not a multiple of P of X, so how do we know it's not a multiple of P of X? Well, if it were a multiple of P of X, then it would be in this principal ideal. What that tells us is that the GCD, the polynomial GCD of F of X and P of X equals one. Great. Okay, good. So in, in other words, these things are relatively prime. But by a previous result, that means that there exists two polynomials A of X and B of X inside the polynomial ring K adjoin X um, with A of X F of X plus B of X uh, P of X equal one. So we can always write the polynomial GCD of two polynomials as a combination of those two polynomials. Again, paralleling what happens in integers. But notice that this term right here is inside of I because f of x is inside of I. Uh, this term right here is inside of I because p of x is inside of I. So what that tells us is that the number one is inside of I. But recall, if you have a unit inside of an ideal, then that ideal is in fact the entire ring. Well, we don't just have a unit inside the ideal, we have the easiest unit to work with. In other words, just the number one. So here what we have is the ideal is the entire ring, but that is k adjoin x. But what that tells us is that our um, principal ideal is maximal. But an ideal being maximal is equivalent to the quotient being a field. So in other words, um, K adjoin X mod P of X is a field, which is what we wanted. Okay, great. I'll clean up the board and then we'll do the other direction.
Okay, so now we're ready for the other direction. So let's go ahead and suppose that k of x mod this principal ideal p of x is a field. And then using this result over here, what that tells us is that p of x is a maximal ideal. Great. Now, let's go ahead and suppose that p of x equals f of x times g of x. So in other words, we have factored p of x. Now what we want to show is that one of those is in fact a constant, which means if we tried to factor it, we failed, except the one possibility where one of them was a constant, which means that it is an irreducible polynomial. Okay, so now uh, notice that if we have this factorization, that tells us that p of x is an element of this principal ideal generated by f of x. Well look, it's a multiple of f of x, it's a g of x multiple of f of x. But that gives us this string of ideals, so that uh, tells us that um, the ideal p of x is contained in the principal ideal generated by f of x, which is contained in the entire ring k adjoint x. Okay, so we know that p of x is a maximal ideal, so that gives us uh, two cases. So that means either p of x equals f of x, I should say the principal ideal generated by p of x is equal to the principal ideal generated by f of x, or um, the principal ideal generated by f of x equals the whole field. But now, notice what this means is that not only is p of x a multiple of f of x, it also means that f of x is a multiple of p of x. Great. But what that tells us is that the degree of f of x equals the degree of uh, p of x. Right? But that means our factorization like kind of failed. In other words, p of x um, is irreducible because the only way to factor it was in a way where one of the polynomials had a degree which was equal to our original polynomial. Okay, so now let's look at this other case which says that the principal ideal generated by f of x is equal to k adjoin x, but a principal ideal is equal to an entire ring if and only if that generator is a unit. So what that tells us is that f of x is a unit in k adjoin x, but the only units in a polynomial ring, which you can prove easily, I haven't proven that, but I urge you to do that, the only units in a polynomial ring over a field are, in fact, um, the constant polynomials. So what that tells us is that f of x equals alpha, which is a constant polynomial. In other words, it's in the field. But if f of x equals alpha, it has degree zero, but um, furthermore, that means that the degree of g of x, the other polynomial, equals the degree of p of x. But then that gives us the same result that p of x is an irreducible polynomial. Okay, I'll go ahead and clean up the board and then we're going to do like a real quick example of an application of this. So now that we've proved this result, let's look at a quick application. So I'm going to give some kind of silly applications first um, and then look at a more interesting one. So one application is that C is a field. So obviously we all know that the complex numbers forms a field. We can prove that directly, but we can also prove it by this fact. Notice if we take phi from r adjoint x to c, and we take this to be the evaluation homomorphism, so in other words we take f of x to go to f of i, that's going to be obviously an onto homomorphism, and you can easily check that the kernel of phi is the principal ideal generated by x squared plus 1. x squared plus 1 is irreducible, so let's look at that over r adjoin x, 
But by the first isomorphism theorem for rings, we know that this implies that C is isomorphic to R adjoint X mod out by the kernel of this polynomial, um, sorry, of this homomorphism, which is that. But again, that's an irreducible polynomial, which makes R of X mod um, that polynomial equal to a field, which means C itself was a field in the first place. That's a real roundabout way to show that C is a field, but it's an interesting application nonetheless. Okay, so another example of a field is going to be Q uh, adjoined square root of 2. So probably in exercises before you've seen that as a field and you can do that in a really really similar way. So I'll just uh, write this real quick. Let's go ahead and take uh, the polynomial ring down to Q adjoint root 2 and let's define it by f of x gets sent to f of root 2. Great. And now you can do the same kind of thing here. So the kernel of this uh, homomorphism is going to be the polynomial x squared minus 2, which is irreducible in q adjoint x, which makes q adjoint x mod that polynomial equal to a field, but it's going to be isomorphic to this thing again by the first isomorphism theorem for rings. Okay, great. So number three, which is a little bit more interesting, uh, let's look at uh, Z2 adjoined X mod out the polynomial X squared plus X plus one. So again, we can check that X squared plus X plus one is irreducible by the methods from our example at the very beginning of the video. Notice that zero is not a root and one is also not a root, and that's all we need to check because we're in Z2. That makes this thing an irreducible polynomial, but a field adjoin X mod an irreducible polynomial is always a field. So this is a field of order four, which is two squared. And this really works into the important result that all finite fields are of order um, a power of a prime, which uh, generally you see in like some sort of later abstract algebra type class. So I'm not sure we're going to get to it in this course, but I might make some videos anyway if I have uh, the time. Um, okay, great. So this is a good place to stop.